Hi everybody, it's Laquita. I wanted to share with you some um, tags or door hangers that I made for a challenge that I'm in. And this challenge is given by Donna Little, and that is her channel name. Um, Donna is um, doing a repeat challenge from one that she did last year, and, and it's for such a wonderful, worthy cause. So um, when I joined in yet last year, I thought, what a great idea to do these. And then I, I definitely wanted to join in again this year. Um, all of the door hangers, they're Christmas-themed door hangers that she's asking you to make for her. And all of them will be donated to an assisted living center. And all of the residents there will get to hang one on their door. Hopefully, they'll have enough to go around and everybody will have one on their door. But just a, a very great, you know, just a great, great idea, I think. And so let me show you the first one that I made. The first one is, I would say, kind of a shabby, chic style. It has a picture of three children around the Christmas tree. And I've framed, uh, put a frame around the picture that I've glittered. And then I put a little bit of lace across the top that has pearls on it and uh, some paper flowers, and then I have some dangling pearls here on the side. There's a little bit of lace that goes down um, each side underneath the uh, frame. And then I have um, a Merry Christmas tag, more flowers. There's a couple of little uh, lace applique flowers right here. And then a little bit of lace dangling. There's also some sparkly fibers dangling in there. So the whole tag is very sparkly, very Christmassy. And then I have it hanging with uh, some seam binding. On the back, I've left it plain. I've just added my name and where I live. And so um, that is the first one. And the second one I did is more of a vintage theme. And um, it's quite long. And it has a vintage Santa, which this is a napkin that I had. And I used the technique that Ruby from Little Books. Hi, Ruby, that she was talking about in one of her videos. So I got this idea from her where you apply your napkins onto a fusible interfacing. And so you just iron it on and it gets all the wrinkles out and, and then you can just glue it on to whatever project that you're working with or sew it on, however you want to use it. And so um, that's how I applied this one by using the interfacing. So I've gone across the top of the tag with a little bit of filigree, a uh, little piece of filigree there. I've got some uh, letters dangling from beads, and it spells out joy. And then on each side, I have some chenille rickrack. And then dangling across the bottom, um, I have on the back, there is a doily. And then on top of the doily, I've got a little bit of dangling lace, and then there's a little bit of, of vintage uh, lace that's on top and then um, a few buttons and then I have dangling here in the center some buttons and beads and so that is uh, my tag and the hanger is a red organza ribbon and again my name on the back and, and where I live so those are the two tags that I made and and um, I'll leave the link below so that you can go over and get all the details from Donna if I didn't mention it already I think you have until the end of November. So there's still, sorry, there's still plenty of time to uh, join in if you'd like to. I changed my camera view so that you could see this gorgeous uh, Japanese maple tree that I have outside my kitchen window. So I'm upstairs. I'm not above my craft room. I'm on the other side of the house, but um, I, ha I can see the bottom part of the tree from my craft room. Um, but this is... Um, the view from upstairs in my kitchen. And I just wanted to share it with you. I know looking at it through my iPad screen, it's not as red as it is looking at it in person. It's like it's on fire. It is so red right now. And I'm sure it's at its peak. Those leaves are getting ready to fall. And um, we were out of town a few uh, for a few days and I was hoping that I would get back in time to see the leaves before they fall because they don't last very long and um, 
but right now it's such a pretty time of year. There's so many golds and yellows and greens and reds out there and and uh, the nights are pretty cool, but it's still pretty decent during the day. You can go out with, you know, just long sleeves on. It's not quite that cold yet. We've had some cold days, but, but not that bad. And so um, the trees, I think, are, they're, they're definitely late showing their color. We should have had these colors, oh gosh, at least a month ago. We're really behind. Uh, but Nonetheless, the colors are here now. It's very pretty out there, and I just wanted to share that with you. So I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and, and um, letting me share my tags with you for Donna's challenge and my view from my kitchen. So uh, take care, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.